local ultimate job in golf, uh, £50,000 job, travel around the world, playing some of the best golf courses in the world, reviewing, blogging, and uh, doing a little bit of contract negotiating. Should be a good year for anyone who, uh, for everyone wins today. It's, uh, it's 9 a.m. in the morning. We are uh, just down at the practice range at the, uh, the Celtic Manor, the venue for the uh, 2010 uh, Ryder Cup. Um, this morning we've got uh, 20 players down here to uh, fight it out for the uh, ultimate job in golf. Uh, my name is Ross Marshall. I'm the uh, chief executive of Your Golf Travel, Europe's largest golf travel business. And uh, out of the 8,000 applicants, um, we're down to 20. You're going to meet them all later. And uh, they're going to play in a staple for competition um, for a £50,000 job to travel around the world, um, four continents um, in 2010, and uh, review and blog for the Your Golf Travel website and uh, contracts and suppliers. So we wish them the best of luck. And you'll be hearing a little bit more from me and uh, some of the other ca candidates a bit later. So what is your, uh, your name? Uh, my name's Johnny, Johnny Ufton. Where are you from? Uh, from London. Uh, brought up in Kent. A uh, member down at Royal St. Paul's and Deal. Um, uh, what is the reason why you joined this uh, competition? Um, no, it's simple really. It's uh, travelling the world, playing golf. Writing articles, blogging, um, meeting people, travelling. Um, I don't think there's anything else that you, you want to do, really. It's, uh, it's pretty special. Well, as it says on the tin, it's the ultimate job in golf. The chance to travel the world, play the world's golf, uh, best golf courses, and get paid to do that. It's just yeah. a fantastic yeah. experience. And what are you most looking forward to in, uh, in a job? It's actually the challenging golf courses that I'll be playing um, and the travelling the world. I mean. I took a delayed gap year and have decided to travel the world and play golf, so it combines the two of them into a perfect job. It seems to blend in the things that I love the most in life, playing golf, travelling and uh, journalism really. If you score, Harry scores a five, tap on Harry's bar, up pops a little calculator, tap a five. So it's all gross. in play so uh, yeah we'll see but what a beautiful day now what a beautiful day plus nine over the handicaps mm. Brendan Brendan two under still through so he, eleven he's doing brilliant 24 points already Well, I think this has been a tremendously exciting concept dreamt up by Your Golf Travel to create this ultimate golf job and uh, have a golf competition to, to win this ultimate prize. Of course, we've got a rather big event coming up ourselves here at Celtic Manor and on the 2010 course in October. But in terms of kicking off Ryder Cup year 2010 with a very exciting golf competition, this has really fit the bill. Uh, it's been tremendous to see these guys battling it out over the 2010 course, what we think is the ultimate match play golf course to win this ultimate job representing your golf travel, uh, doing golf resort reviews around the world. Entertaining end to a, uh, you know, something that we f first came to mind in about uh, June this year. Um, uh, at, at nearest to the pin from 150 yards to decide who was going to win today because two guys in the field that went out in the first group were unseparable through um, 19 holes and um, obviously uh,
very good that Chris uh, managed to knock it on the green to about 12 feet and uh, has won the ultimate job in golf. So, uh, you know, give him a round of applause. <laughs> I'm going to say congratulations to both of you today. Uh, fantastic uh, playoff, and obviously, unfortunately, these things are, there can only ever be one winner and one job. And obviously, uh, Chris did a great job today and uh, held his nerve at the end. What did you hit into uh, to 18? Uh, I hit a seven iron in. Seven iron in. Yeah, it was cold, so I added about two clubs. <laughs> And uh, did, did you, you hit it pretty good, though, didn't you? Yeah. Although you couldn't actually see where, couldn't it, see where it was going. It was, it was, it was absolutely dark. I had to ask the people on the, uh, on the green whether, where, it was, where it was, whether it was on the green. Pretty tough up there. So. Okay, yeah. And what about you, Brenda? What did you hit in there in the end? I hit seven as well. I was going along the same logic. Usually 150 yards is an eight iron for me, but it, under those circumstances, I played seven, and in the end, I was short. So we couldn't separate you for nine, you guys for 19 holes so unfortunately yeah. uh, with light dinner it came down to one hit and uh, absolutely listen we enjoy it really enjoyed it really good good laugh in our four ball and we had good fun and thank you very much good, good, good day yeah it was uh, it was good and obviously uh, you know anyone who came in today would have been uh, a great candidate for the job over the next 12 months yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah, you guys put the best performances but uh, congratulations Chris and uh, thank you very much obviously uh, we'll be uh, catching up with you in due course absolutely yeah. congratulations thanks a lot very much